I want an answer right now. He has the right to be represented, and I want to talk to you face to face. You need to get the government the hell out of our way. As more and more Americans rise up against socialized medicine at town hall meetings across the country, Democrats seem to be demonizing the opposition. Hi, everyone. I'm Laura Ingram reporting tonight for Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us. The Democrats versus the people. That's the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Last night, top White House aides presented recessing Democrats with a battle plan to avoid the embarrassing PR disasters, otherwise known as health care town halls. According to Politico, Deputy White House Chief of Staff Jim Messina told Senate Democrats, if you get hit, punch back twice as hard. Well, word traveled fast. At a town hall last night with Congressman Russ Carnahan, Democrat union thugs beat up a conservative black man who was handing out don't tread on me flags. We'll have him on later in the show. Well, when they could no longer ignore the anti-Obama voters, Democrats began to dismiss them and demonize them as the hired guns of the insurance companies or Brooks Brothers protesters. Far left columnist Paul Krugman accused them of harboring racial anxiety. The fact is, Crowds of this size only turn out across the country if there is real, genuine passion about an issue. And what's driving this August activism is a lack of trust in what the Democrats are promising on health care. Voters hear, oh, don't worry, abortions aren't covered. Illegal aliens don't benefit. Care won't be rationed. Private insurance won't be killed off. Yet informed Americans respond with, we don't believe you. Rather than facing the harsh, harsh truth, Democrats have stooped to a new low. This is Washington State Congressman Brian Baird. If people set out to disrupt town hall meetings to intimidate people who sincerely want to discuss important issues, the first victim is the democracy itself. But beyond that, some of the rhetoric that we're hearing is vaguely, and not vaguely, but eerily reminiscent of the kind of things that drove Tim McVeigh to uh, bomb the federal building in Oklahoma. Domestic terrorism. Disgusting. The strategy of attacking voters who dare to speak out is backfiring big time. It simply widens the gulf of distrust and infuriates hardworking Americans. Democrats should now see the folly of this entire health care cram down. Hey, so much for no drama Obama and a new era of bipartisanship. I have an idea. Instead of trying to pass a thousand page bill that will only add to the federal deficit, why not convince a blue state to do a test run of Obamacare for the rest of us? Any takers? And that's the memo. And now for the top story tonight, another look at how some Americans are passionately voicing their dissent for Obama's health care plan. in which will address his specific problem as the bill was going through the committee. No, 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 no. Wow. Joining us now from Washington, Fox News analyst Juan Williams. Uh, Juan, I uh, usually think that August uh, in politics is kind of a quiet time. This is getting more ratcheted up by the day. The more the Democrats dismiss and now demonize it, these protesters, the more regular folks seem to be showing up at these uh, forums. What gives? Well, th there's real this discontent and real concern. I mean, you just look at the polls, Laura. What you see is that people are concerned about, in specific, uh, the high level of spending. They think that this is going to spend us, you know, out of all time. I mean, you, you can't even compare it to anything previous. So we'll spend us right down into bankruptcy and into deficit spending, the kind that can only feed inflation or feed 
increases in your taxes, my taxes, everybody's tax. So there's real concern. But let me just say that I think uh, that contrary to what you said in the Talking Points memo, I think that a lot of these people, they're not paid, they're not fake. As I say, I think there's genuine reason for them to be out there. But I think a lot of them are being stirred up by scare tactics, all this talk about rationing, all this talk about, you know, why didn't Teddy Kennedy go to Canada, all this talk about socialized medicine. You know, people don't, aren't stopping to think, wait a minute, most Americans want the health care system to be improved. Most people think they get, you know, taken to the bank by the well, insurance company. Actually, they Juan, want the, new poll out, the new poll out, which I'm going to get into later on with uh, Rasmussen, Scott's going to be with us. But the new poll out shows that 68% of Americans describe their health coverage as excellent or good. So I, I beg to differ on that people are just so distraught on a daily basis about their health care. What I think has happened here with the Democrats is they absolutely were caught flat-footed by the level of discontent and distrust about big, hulking government programs. They were caught flat-footed. They thought they were going to be able to ram this thing through before the vacation. And then, lo and behold, people, yeah, they started hearing things. Maybe some things are exaggerated, but a lot of the things are right from the bill itself, Juan. Well, you can't help yourself, Laura. You're exactly right. Some things are exaggerated because the 68 percent number that you cite was not that before Republicans made this of all about the cost, the spending, and the idea that, you know what, it's not going to, in fact, cover everybody who's not uh, insured at the moment. It's not going to drive down your personal costs. It's not going to contain health care costs for businesses that are being strapped by uh, unpredictability of their health care costs. And so people started to say, well, why are we spending this money? What are we getting well, right. for it? That, the, the, the question the is why. Congressional right. Budget so, Office is not some Republican you know, group of right. PACs. I mean, they said exactly. this is not going to do what President Obama promised, which was right. to bring so down the cost of health care. It's not. So, so what we need to do now, and what you're hearing from the White House, is change the topic. The White House is trying to change the topic and say this is about consumer protections for people who already have insurance. And what you're hearing now is it's not about cost per se, it's about yeah. insurance protection. That's what they're telling the Democrats out there at hey, the Juan, town hall Hey, what did you make of this Brian across. Baird, Timothy McVeigh? And then later on, in a, he, he made a reference to Timothy McVeigh. Then he, in a phone uh, interview, he said, used the words uh, brown shirts. And Nancy Pelosi uh. so, talked about swastikas. I think she's referring to one sign that on one rally wore a red line was through a, a swastika saying we don't want socialized, you know, whatever. And, and so I, I just think their, their, their response to the critics is fueling the critics here. Well, in some ways it is. But remember, it's not about the people who are actually at the meetings. I mean, the people who go to the meetings are protesting. Their strategy is to get media attention. This is really political oh, theater they care, in some though, extent, right? extent. I mean, you're, you're not well, saying I they think don't they care. care. A no, lot of these people are over the age up. of 65. I mean, when, when right. Obama's but, group, Organizing for America, and the SEIU get their big groups uh, in, in Florida last night or in Michigan, yep. I mean, they're organizing people. So, so what if people on right. the Internet or some would say show up at these town hall meetings? You know, what's good for the well, goose no, is good for the both gander. Sides, right. So both sides right now are taking it to the streets. That's what we're seeing this August. P American politics taken to the street in a way that we it. haven't seen in generations. And it's all over health care. It's not over some war. This is very personal. Everybody knows that they're being touched by this insurance argument. So much for the apathy. Come on, there's no apathy. Hey. People are engaged. I love that. Left or right, whatever <laughs> it is. Juan, have all a great right. vacation. It's great to see you. And next on the rundown, health care dissent is taking a serious toll on the